All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. It is July 31st. Me and Hayden, once again, in Southeast Colorado. We're starting the evening off with this Texas horned lizard. We do have a full moon tonight, but we do have good temps. So hopefully we can uh, produce some herps tonight and we'll see how the rest of this week goes with late July and early August. Next find is another Texas horned lizard right here. Somehow no snakes, but I expect one should pop up soon. Uh, but we'll get this guy off the road. In a Woodhouse toad, some unfortunate DORs, and then a line snake and one tantilla. And then we just cruise this Sonora right here, which is pretty cool because these are probably the most commonly flipped fossorial down here, but you rarely see them road cruising. Uh, so it's cool to see a multicolor snake like this. I was just sitting on top of this hill area so we could see him from far away, but it's a huge rattlesnake. Um, so we just we'll leave him here and let him finish crossing. But Okay, we thought this was the beardest coming onto the road because this thing is huge. But it's actually just the biggest glossy in existence. <laughs> so we have a huge, huge Kansas glossy snake right here. Way bigger than any that we've ever seen. Really long. I mean, hopefully this wind's not screwing me over, but I might get a quick clip of this guy in hand. Here it is in Hayden's hand right here, all coiled up. But the thickest and longest glossy by far that we've ever seen. It's got a lot of wind, so it might be ruining the audio, so I'll keep it short. But this is probably, definitely actually the best find of the night so far. All right, so it is the next morning. Um, we just found this Texas horned lizard. He was kind of basking on some cow poop. But last night we had some decent numbers, but uh, mostly just common stuff. But we still had a fun night. Definitely the highlight was that huge glossy snake. But now we started the first day of August with this good looking horned lizard right here. Just cruised up on this guy who's absolutely chilling right now. Another Texas horned lizard. Funny when you set them on their on their backs, they'll sometimes just sit there, but glad we could get another one. We haven't been doing too much herping in the last couple hours, but we did get a couple prey rattlesnakes. We got some rain this evening. We just had some dinner, and then we found this prey rattlesnake sitting in the road right here. And this is as found, so definitely kind of weird considering it's pretty much near the middle of the road sitting in ambush like this but there was a burrowing owl right there that i saw fly off which is kind of how i noticed this guy um so definitely a weird find and interaction right there so unfortunately last night was very slow we just saw a lot of toads but we have started the morning with a couple texas horned lizards so here's one i just we're getting ready to check out this pond here but it's cool that these guys have uh, been showing up to us in this couple of days so it is august 3rd and me, Hayden, and Max decided to flip this little section. And obviously it paid off. We got a small night snake right here, which isn't crazy common, but it's, uh, it's not too rare either. And then we just flipped this oh. ground snake right here. That is super cool. It has a really nice orange and black. And then, so we got both of them right next to each other here, but super weird find, especially to be flipping these fossorials in August. And it's probably mid eighties right now a couple rocks and it was an absolute success not too much further from where we just were max just flipped this large great plain skink right here i'm uh, walking the river here with max and hayden um just gonna see if we can turn up some turtles but just flipped that rock right there and found this northern water snake so glad to start off with something we'll see if it keeps up so we decided to turn around because the river is flowing a lot more than we wanted. I'm um, going to check out a different area. And then Aiden decides to check a really unsuspecting little circle and then pulls this guy out. So we got a spiny soft shell. You can see on the edge of the shell right behind his head, a couple of those spines there, which is why this one is a spiny and not as smooth. Um, but definitely a big soft shell right here. And not expecting to see this guy, especially with the conditions we have right now. But a good find by Hayden. Hopefully we'll uh, see some more this afternoon. Alrighty, I just flipped that rock. And underneath it, we got a double flip of two Nerodia. So that's pretty cool. Number two and three on the day. We'll probably see a couple more, but this slightly bigger one looks really nice. Has a good stomach, but 
as usual, very bitey. Let them go back under their rock. It is the next week of me and Hayden being in Southeast Colorado here, and it was pretty rainy this afternoon. Uh, so we've just been looking for toads and stuff, hitting some ponds, doing a little bit of cruising for toads. Um, Cause it's been holding about 68 degrees for the last couple hours. Um, so we're not expecting a snake, but we did just get a Kansas glossy snake right here, which is a nice surprise as we're getting close to where we're gonna call it for the night. Um, but we could at least get this guy. Couldn't really film any toads earlier because it was windy and the audio would have been bad, but we'll see what else we can uh, find this week. So me and Hayden are going to do a little bit of flipping this morning because we got some rain yesterday. We have low temps this morning. It was kind of just misting um, a lot of last night, which was really weird, but there's a uh, nice moisture in the ground. We flipped the green toad already and then just flipped this infed Sonora. So we haven't flipped a ton, which is kind of expected considering it's almost mid-August, but Hayden just found this western narrowmouth out on the crawl, um, so that's pretty cool. These guys are not too common throughout a lot of the state, but you get to the right pocket and uh, they're not too hard to find. Well, it's been a pretty slow evening. Uh, we got a tantilla and then our next snake is this dark with some nice orange right there, this really large glossy snake that uh, just straddled in the road. Um, so good to get a new species for the night and see another snake. Hopefully we can just get a couple more before we uh, call it. Okay, so that building right there is some public bathrooms and next to the road about to come on is a huge prairie rattlesnake right here. Uh, so we'll get this guy across the road. Hopefully continue to head in the opposite direction of these bathrooms, but really interesting find. A couple of toads too, so we'll see what those are. And right next to these bathrooms right here, there's about four wood houses. So there's two. Here's a third, and there's a big one right out over there, but definitely a interesting little area here. So most of the time we are cruising these guys, but I just hiked up this guy in habitat. You can see we got a lot of rocks and grass around, um, but cool to see this one. He's super dark, doesn't have a lot of light brown or yellow on him at all, but cool to actually hike one up instead of just cruising it. We'll probably get a couple photos of him. Well, this is a little pond here that has popped up pretty recently. There's some bullfrogs and uh, leopard frogs, but I just found this plains garter snake. This little juvenile just kind of sitting on the edge. I was able to grab him while he was swimming, but cool to see this guy. It looks like there was maybe a big snake track through some moss on the other side of the pond, so maybe that's recent, maybe not, but at least we got one here. Just cruising down this two track here, and we got another Texas horned lizard. This one's a lot more stereotypical looking than that other one with more of that light brown coloration. So it's a little bit breezy outside, so I had to bring this guy in the car so that the audio wouldn't be awful. But we just cruised this uh, Plains Hognose Snake. This one is kind of hard to see in the shade, but has some nice green undertones. A really, really nice stomach, something we were not expecting to see. It was about 73 degrees at 8.30 in the morning. But, uh... So definitely good temps, just not the location that you'd expect to see it in the most, but we're just gonna get this guy off the road and see what else we find this morning. So when we cruised that large hog nose earlier, our buddy probably a hundred meters up the road had cruised one as well. And it just, it got off the road. And then a couple hours later, an hour and a half probably, we cruised this guy um, right as we were getting back into the car. So not expected at all, it has a meal in it. Um, pretty far down, probably a spade foot because we've seen a lot of spade foots around here, but really cool to get this hog nose and especially see two in the morning in an area where you're not really expecting them. So we are cruising back home because we're done being down here for the week and we just cruised up on this large tan beige colored western coach whip. So these guys are cool. You can kind of see them in the road from far away and then you try not to get too close so the car doesn't scare them. Try to surround them. Super, super fast snakes, but it's windy. I'm gonna end the clip, but we'll get, uh, get this guy right here. So I'm now in southwest Colorado. I'm on a weekend trip with Hayden, Grant, and Remy, and uh, we just found my favorite find of the summer. We have this amazing 
California king snake right here. So they're only in a little area down here in southwest Colorado, uh, only on a couple areas where you can find them. And we got this guy really early on in the night, and it is a huge king snake. We measured it at about 45 inches, um, so almost four feet long. They don't really get any bigger than this, and just such an amazing snake. It's a lifer for me, Grant, and Hayden, and I'm just so excited we were able to get this snake. So we took a little bit of time photographing that Cali king snake because that is such an awesome snake for all of us to see here in Colorado. And we let this guy go and probably 20 minutes down the road, we got this rattlesnake right here. So it's prey rattlesnake, although there is a little bit of discrepancy on the exact identification of this guy, but this one is actually a, probably a full grown adult. They definitely don't get as big out here. And uh, really cool, we could get a new species for us in this area and we'll see what else happens. Well, we've seen quite a few DORs recently and now it is many hours later than the last rattlesnake we saw and we got another one right here a little bit bigger but definitely uh, different looking out here so it's cool to see them all right so the four of us have been hiking around this morning and the last 15 minutes we've been corralling this lizard around this bush until we were finally able to get a hold of it this is our target lizard of the morning and we have a long nose leopard lizard right here so this guy super super cool i mean you can see why they have their name with that spotting all down the tail and back and some really really cool orange on the side but i believe this is a lifer for all of us right not me or at least in hand yeah um but really cool that we could get a hold of this guy really cool lizards and uh definitely a unique area to be able to see them in so last night cruising we did have some fun we saw some viridis however we did see a lot of dors but it was cool uh, seeing what was in the area, checking out a new corner of the state that I had not been to before. And now we are on our way back and we made a pit stop for horned lizards. And pretty shortly into our hike, we hiked up this tiny greater short horned lizard, which is a lifer for me. I haven't really got out to target them much. And I wish I had earlier, because this is a really cool lizard, just tiny and really cute. but. Hopefully we can see some more. We'll grab some ticks and see what else pops up. Yeah. Oh, I think, yeah, I think so.